So in yesterday's video, I showed you guys a memorable deck profile for the October 2024 format. But today I'm going to be showing you guys some combos that you need to know to be successful and competitive with Memogul. The combos I'm going to show you guys today are pretty insane. I think this deck does some really crazy things and it has access to so many supplementary engines that make these combos in this deck are really, really powerful. So with that being said, let's get right into today's video. I'm going to be showing you guys some combos that you need to know to be successful with Memogul in today's format. Let's go. So just before we get started with this combo video, I do want to mention that Maker is essentially a one card combo and I'm going to be showing you guys this one card combo. However, I do want to pair it with Kashira Unicorn to show you guys the power of the Kashira monsters and the Kashira engine here. Now, it doesn't actually change the combo too much just having the Unicorn, but what it does is it just shows you the ceiling of this deck, which is really good. So Maker, of course, is a one card combo and I'll talk about it during the combo, but Unicorn just makes it infinitely better. So let's just say you have these two cards in your hand. You're going to start off by summoning your Unicorn and then activating the Unicorn effect to search your birth all right very very simple also if you had kaiman in here i could show you the same combo with kaiman the only difference is this is going to get an extra deck rip this is going to end on a herald but the exact same combo it doesn't really change too much so let's just say we get the birth here We'll just add the breath to our hand. We'll keep it at that. And then we're going to use our Mimigul Maker. So we're going to reveal our Mimigul Dragon and our Mimigul Arch Fiend over here. These two cards. Now, one of them is randomly going to go to your opponent and one of them is going to come to you. It does not really matter which one goes where because either way, it's going to be the same combo. So let's just give our opponent the dragon. I'm just going to put it here and then we'll give ourselves the Mimigul Arch Fiend. So it's going to add it to our hand, be able to special summon it. And then what's going to end up happening here is we're going to activate its effect to flip into our Mimigul Dragon. Now, Mimigul Dragon is going to activate its effect to one, try to destroy all cards my opponent controls at this point they control on but it's going to come back to my side of the field what just happened my opponent activated a monster effect so we're going to use unicorn effect here now to rip a card out of my opponent's extra deck so you guys can see it doesn't really affect the combo what it does is it just gets an extra rip but it actually is going to help us push even further right but this card is still absolutely insane here so now that we're done this we're going to use these two cards over here Ixie summon with them, summoning our throne and activating our throne effect to summon Maker from our deck. And then once we summon our master, we're going to activate its effect. Master lets you search a Mimigul monster. So the one we're going to be able to search is our dragon here. And we still haven't used our normal summon, right? Because this was a special summon. Everything else has been a special summon. So we're going to normal summon our dragon, activate its effect, and it's going to get us to a Mimigul spell. So we're going to get to our Mimigul dungeon. Now we're going to activate our dungeon here, activate its effect to search another Mimigul card. And uh, the one we're going to want to search here is going to be our Mimigul Fairy. Because Mimigul Fairy is an extender for us ultimately at the end of the day, right? So this is kind of what our board looks like right now. At this point, we can just use our Fairy to special summon it. We can then use these two for a uh, Giant Mimigul. Because what Giant Mimigul is going to do now on summon is we're going to be able to search a Mimigul uh, room. And that's really good because this is going to be part of our end board. Now at this point, if you were just doing the standard one card combo... This is your end board, right? You're going to end on room with this end board. That's just a standard one card combo. However, because we have unicorn, I actually want to show you how much further you can push this combo. What you guys can do at this point, if your opponent has anything, you can just use these two for an SP. You can use them for an IP. But what I like to do actually is use the unicorn and um, the giant Mimigul here. So we're going to use these two, link them away into our silhouette rabbit. Now, silhouette rabbit's effect is going to activate and we're going to be able to get ourselves the statue which is azurne and then we're going to be able to activate our birth now use birth effect to summon back the unicorn that's in our graveyard so we've already ripped one but we're going to be able now to summon it back then we just set these two cards so we're going to set our room and set our statue over here what is this going to do for us well then on our opponent's turn we can activate our statue boom now we have a negate with our statue which is really nice we still have the banish with unicorn we have the mimigul throne which can attach itself to master which then is a bounce for us which is really nice we have mimigul room which lets you special summon a mimigul monster from your hand or deck to the field in face down defense position to your opponent's side of the field so what you're going to do here let's say on your opponent's turn you activate room you can summon fairy to this side of the field you can summon dragon to their side of the field it does not really matter which one you summon it depends on the uh, matchup i guess that you're playing against because what ends up happening is you put it on face down and then your opponent can't normal summon any monsters but let's just say then you flip it up fairy is going to be able to negate all special summon monsters your opponent controls effects from the hand but then dragon also is a board wipe so either one of these it doesn't matter but you could summon either one of these but look at how many disruptions you're putting up one two with the extra deck three for birth is going to be able to banish from their graveyard which potentially could be a disruption and then dungeon is going to make them not be able to normal summon this is absolutely insane and this is just the maker because you had the unicorn you're able to do all of this 
Okay, so for this combo, I want to show you guys the second supplementary engine that we're playing, which is our Sengen, Kaimin, and or our Genroku engine, I should say. And it's going to start off the exact same way with your Maker over here. And then uh, you're going to be using the Kaimin eventually in the combo as well. But it's a little bit different than the Kashiro one, so I want to show it to you as well. So here what you're going to do, as always, start off with your Maker, and you are going to reveal the same cards that you revealed last time, which is our Dragon and our Archfiend. Now, for the sake of time, we're going to give ourselves the Archfiend and our opponents the Dragon. However, I will say the same exact combo can be done if you get the dragon and then you give them the archfiend although dragon can't flip the archfiend you have to do it a little bit differently where dragon is going to search the dungeon and you're going to start comboing off that way and then you're going to flip the archfiend but for time's sake i want to show you guys this way so we're going to get the archfiend we're going to give them the dragon all right again it's random but in this case it's just the easiest way to do it uh, we're going to use the archfiend effect of course to flip the dragon and the dragon comes back to our side of the field by the way for anyone who's watching this who's going to tell me oh maker adds the hand and then special summons that's completely true i just wanted to do this to make it faster for you guys all right so archfiend comes to hand special summons itself flips the dragon dragon comes to our side of the field then we're going to ixie summon with these two into our Mimigul throne so this is pretty standard and this is why if you guys watch the deck profile i'm playing the cross out package because you need to protect this card if this card doesn't get protected your whole combo is kind of done so you need to protect this card so you're going to detach the dragon over here and we're going to be able to summon our master master now is going to be able to search a card and at this point we haven't normal summoned yet so we can actually search our dragon over here and also by the way when you reveal dragon or archfiend the reason you want to reveal these two is because the combo can really only be done if you get dragon or if you get archfiend you can't really get this combo done if you get fairy for example right so you need to get one of these two for the combo to get started because either one you get is a full combo regardless but in this case we're going to get dragon now with our master because we're going to have our normal summon so we're going to normal summon our dragon dragon is going to be able to get to our mimigul dungeon we're going to activate our mimigul dungeon over here use its effect and then we're going to be able to add a uh, monster to our hand. So here we can add our Mimigul Fairy. So there's a couple things you guys can do at this point, right? So let's just say we start off with summoning our Fairy. So from this point, you can do a few different things. And honestly, it's going to depend on the matchup, what you want to do and how you want to do it. This is why I like this deck so much is because it's not a single line. And I'm going to show you a couple lines. So the first thing you can do is the standard Giant Mimigul, Giant Mimigul, Search Room. And then uh, you can use the Kaimen to get an extra Mahdi on board. And then you can use Kaimen, or you can use Genroku plus the Giant into a Link 2. So I'll, I'll just show you that one, okay? So let's just say we do it this way first. So you go Giant, Giant is going to get you room. You can then activate Kaimen. Kaimen is going to be able to get to your Genroku. Genroku effect, of course, is going to let you summon itself out to your side of the field. doesn't matter if it's a tuner or not, but then you can use these two into like an IP or an SP or a Silhouette Rabbit, like you can do it that way. Silhouette Rabbits here is good as well. So there's a lot of different things you can summon off of that. That's the first way to do the combo if you guys wanted to do it that way and it gets you to room. The other way to do the combo instead of getting to room though, is you'll have these two bodies on your side of the field. You'll activate your Kaimin and Kaimin is gonna get you to Genroku. You're gonna summon Genroku and it's gonna act as a tuner for you. At this point, it doesn't matter which level one you use, but let's just say you use the Fairy over here summon Harold, so Harold puts everything or makes everything banished right when it goes from the main deck or the hand to the graveyard so it banishes all those monsters and then what you can do from here is uh it, it depends on what you value like do you value the throne bounce if you do then you keep this board if you don't follow value the throne bounce you can use these two into like a silhouette rabbit silhouette rabbit to get you to the trap which is really nice it, it kind of depends what you value and this is kind of why i like these supplementary engines because you have these kind of options for you at the end of the day if you have like another extender let's just say i had another mimical monster in hand that i could use then you can push even further if i had another extender or had unicorn in my hand then you can push further but it's just so many different things you guys can do because like harold is absolutely insane into so many different matchups but let's just say you don't have harold you can even do a thing where you'll go again roku and dragon into your hieratic seal and then this way at least you have seal with fairy on board with throne and this board will have you two bounces because keep in mind you could still have your room in hand right like keep in mind like this is not going to be the be all end all like you could have room in hand already when you draw with your five cards so in that case you want to go hieratic seal then you have two bounces because you already have uh, your room already at that point so it kind of just depends on what you guys want to do and how you guys want to shape the boards depending on the matchup that you're playing against but there's so many different ways to do these combos and the extenders and the supplementary pack packages are really powerful so for the last combo over here i want to show you guys what dragon does on its own because you guys might be like hey spanko the other two combos had maker what if you don't have maker what if you just draw your monsters it's fine you can still combo with dragon dragon is still one of the most powerful cards in the deck and i'm going to show that to you guys right now so what you're going to do is you're going to normal summon your dragon just start things off with a normal summon dragon and dragon is going to be able to get you to your dungeon you're going to activate your dungeon over here and then use its effect 
and that's going to be able to get you to your fairy and this is why fairy is so good because fairy is an extender for you because now that you control a mimic monster you get special summon your fairy and then what you're going to do is use these two over here to get to your giant mimigul and then giant mimigul's effect on summon is going to get you to a spell or a trap for mimigul and the one you're going to get is your maker so no matter what you guys start with you're getting to your maker so now you're going to be activating the maker over here and then the two cards you're going to reveal are your archfiend and your slime now i'm going to be 100 percent honest with you guys if you get slime here and they get archfiend you're kind of in a pickle but with that being said, I want to show you guys the two things that could happen. So let's say your opponent gets Archfiend and you get Slime. You're kind of in this bad position because you can't really normal summon. You've used it. You've used your special summon. You are not in a great position. However, if this does happen, two things are kind of going for you here. So let's just say this happens here. What you can do is uh, you're going to be able to special summon your Slime. It doesn't really do anything for you, but you can use your Giant Mimogul and your Slime here for a Silhouette Rabbit. So you have that negate or you can make SP Little Knight as well, which is another disruption. All right, so you can use these two for an SP or a silhouette rabbit, and then at the end of the day, they have a monster in face down defense position, which means they can't normal summon because of Mimigul Dungeon. So that's not too bad. However, let's pretend we get the good outcome where they get the slime and we get the Archfiend. So we're going to be able to special summon an Archfiend, activate its effect, flip slime on our opponent's side of the field. Now, slime has a really cool effect where my opponent can special summon a Mimigul monster from their deck to their hand. So this is going to be able to let us now special summon our i mean it could be mogul master it doesn't know because you're gonna summon that off throne you could just summon any name here let's just summon cerberus this is why i like having the different names because you can summon cerberus and then this is going to come back to your side of the field you can now use these two into your mimical throne activate its effect so you're going to detach one over here to summon our master master is going to be able to get you to search a monster here which is really nice so honestly you're going to want to search probably just an archfiend here for follow-up doesn't really matter what you search and now at this point you want to keep your throne and your master up on your side of the field because this is going to essentially lead to a bounce for you so you're going to use your giant mimigul and the extra name that you you summoned to make uh, your ip or sp or silhouette rabbit like you can make silhouette rabbit to get the trap here if you guys want you guys can use ip over here to get you into sp if you guys want you guys can just straight go into sp at the end of the day it doesn't really matter it's kind of up to you what you guys want to do it's not that big of a deal but what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to use the archfiend actually from hand now to summon it to our opponent's side of the field in defense position you could just keep it for follow-up but i actually like to do this because what ends up happening is now your dungeon is live where your opponent can't normal summon you have a bounce you have an sp banish or you could potentially have instead of an sp banish a silhouette rabbit into the trap or instead of that you can have potentially ip mascarena and then etc etc because once this flips let's say your opponent flips it comes back to you you can use ip this is also going to let you draw a card which is nice so like let's just say you draw a card doesn't matter what you draw but you draw a card who cares but uh this is also going to hand drip your opponent and then you can use ip and this into sp as a disruption so just want to show you guys the different things you guys can do but dragon on its own is still a really powerful card because you're still ending on a bounce at a minimum an sp disruption whether you're making sp right away or you're making ip doesn't really matter sp disruption plus your opponent can't normal summon unless they flip this but if they flip this you get a plus one with the draw and they're gonna have to discard a card and it's gonna come back to you which means you can ip with it so that is it for today's video. I hope you guys did enjoy. Those are some combos that you need to know to play Mimigul in today's format at a competitive level. Now, I know I showed you guys some different combos with Mimigul Maker. At the end of the day, Maker is a one card combo now, but when you have the supplementary engines like the Kashira engine or the Sangang Kaimin and the Genroku engine, you can do some pretty insane things. So thank you guys all for watching. I appreciate every single one of you. If you guys enjoyed today's video, make sure to like the video and subscribe to the channel for more Yu-Gi-Oh content just like this one. We do deck profiles, combo videos like today. We do product openings vlogs all of that good stuff it's right here on the channel so all you guys got to do is subscribe to the channel check it out and stay tuned thank you guys again all for watching i appreciate you all and with that spanko sign it out peace